and welcome to Tuesday's tea o'clock. So a client called me in to the property the other day to ask me for some advice. It had been on the market for four months um, with another agent and there was just no movement whatsoever. The agent wasn't doing very, very much and had, you know, promised quite a lot, but you know, the results unfortunately weren't there. So the topic or rather the question came up. She said to me, Tanya, how do I know um, that I'm with the right agent? How do I choose the right agent? So I thought that would be quite a good topic for me to quickly just touch on today. So quite a daunting exercise, putting your house on the market. And choosing the right agent is critical in the current market or in any market. One would want to know that they have the right person for the right job. You know, when you're looking for a doctor or a specialist, you do your reviews, you, you do a bit of research, you just don't, you don't just phone the nearest doctor and and expect them to to be the best doctor, not necessarily, um, you know, they might not be the worst doctor, but, you know, you do do a bit of research and and ask a few questions. So my first and, and foremost um, go-to would be drive around your area and see who the busiest agent is. Look for the boards, look for the visibility, look for the person that's, you know, entrenched in the community because that is the agent that is networked in your area. That is the agent that lives in your area. That is the busiest agent. Like the saying goes, when you want something done, give it to the busiest person. So interview that agent and don't feel um, scared to ask the question, how many houses have you sold this month? Or how many houses did you sell last year? You know, that's that's a very, very good indication as to whether you are choosing the right agent, somebody that's dedicated and um, loves what they do and which will translate into the successful sale of your home. So ask the right questions. Also speak to family and friends and, you know, ask for, for references. You know, who did you use? Were you happy with their service? Would you use them again? So these are just a couple of the of the little um, items that I would look for in an agent. Also choose somebody that is presentable and professional and somebody that you can relate to. Very, very important. Um, you know, make sure that that person is relatable because your buyers are going to be dealing with that person. So make sure that they have all the skills that that is necessary to be a successful agent. And um, yeah, choose the person that you feel mo most comfortable with. Of course, there's um, probably another 10 items on that list, which I could uh, continue discussing, but maybe we'll do that next week. And uh, of course, if you've got any other further topics you'd like me to cover, reach out. Thanks so much and uh, happy agent choosing. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.